Here comes by far one of the worst stories we have seen between the United States and Canada. It falls in the lines of women's soccer. Sydney LaRue was born in Canada. She decided to play for the United States for over two years now is when she made her decision. And while well, the Canadians are still pissed as shit at Sydney LaRue. It was a 3 nothing win in Toronto at BMO Field. Uh, a record crowd on hand. We actually have a quick snippet of the goal and just how furious the Canadians are at Sydney LaRue. She scored the third goal. Alex Morgan supplied the first two. She scored an extra time, the 93rd minute to be exact. Listen to the reaction after the goal from the Canadian crowd. So firstly, that is, in one way to put it, disgusting. And I think that it's totally wrong for people to yell at someone uh, like that in that sort of fashion. Now, she sent out a tweet, and I will read that to you right now, about being racially abused. Here's what she said. When you chant racial slurs, taunt me and talk about my family, don't be mad when I shush you and show pride in what I represent, hashtag America. Her celebration featured her, as you possibly saw on that piece of video, putting out her arms, uh, popping her jersey, the emblem part of the United States shield, you could say, and then shushing the crowd. However, she said that they do not correlate her shushing there and her tweet on shushing the racial slurs. Now, this goes into something else. Here are just a few of them that you could see. I'm not going to read them. Uh, not safe for work, by the way. Here are a few of the ridiculous tweets that people have sent to Sidney LaRue. You see him right there. Uh, incredible, to say the least, in the worst way possible. Now, the Sportsnet Group, who is uh, a Canadian broadcast team, Craig Forrest is a former goalkeeper for Canada. Here's exactly what he said. I have transcribed what he said after that goal. She's making friends, isn't she? And then after the search, you know what? You could have her. You can have her. And then Jerry Dobson, the play-by-play man, said that's called rubbing it in. And then Forrest went on to say, and I quote, ugh, that's, are you kidding me? You know what? That's way too American for me. You could have her. Good. Yellow Carter. That's, that's more like it. And then he followed up with classless. Dobson then went on Twitter saying, Sidney LaRue, look, folks, most Americans shrug their shoulders. Most Canadians are livid, natural. If the shoe were on the other foot, dot, dot, dot. My final word on LaRue, I've been wondering, what does her mother think deep down inside? We'll probably never know. I don't understand what Jerry Dobson is trying to pull when he simply says, I wonder what her mother thinks about this. Is that a knee-jerk reaction because you're a huge fan of Canadian soccer and you are simply livid, as you put it? with Sydney LaRue then deciding to play for the Americans. She's been in the youth camps for years. Simply don't understand it. I think it's, uh, in one word, stupid uh, from Jerry Dobson of Sportsnet. So uh, Richard Frayerly of uh, NBC Sports wrote this fantastic piece. Here are a few excerpts from his piece. Sportsnet's comments are of the same ilk as in when he described how the Americans are pissed at Giuseppe Rossi deciding to not play for the Americans, even though he lived in New Jersey, is from New Jersey, and decided to play for the Italians. He currently plays for Fiorentina of Serie A. Uh, Far Farley continues, uh, Ascribing any player's actions to an entire culture should never be done lightly, especially when done in a context that portrays you as upset a talent that could have played for your home nation didn't elect to put on your uniform. That's little... Christine Sinclair, Diana Matheson, or Desiree Scott could have done to be labeled too Canadian. And if that label did come out, it probably wouldn't have been used as a pejorative toward Lauren Sesselman, a Wisconsin board defender who started for the Canadians today. You can understand why the crowd in Toronto would boo a player like LaRue, just as you could see a U.S. crowd directing derision at Rossi. We tolerate far more frivolous reasons for denouncing players, just as we put up with far more crude ways of celebrating touchdowns, home runs, and goals from players who aren't at conflict with the crowd. If Rossi responded to the barrage of negative feedback he's received from American fans by lifting the Italian flag after scoring on U.S. soil, would that be classless? And if Sidney LaRue uses the common finger to lips pose as a rebuttal to her critiques, that seems neither particularly American nor remarkably crass. 
If xenophobic commentary like Sportsnet's becomes common, would it be fair of me to label it as, quote, too Canadian, regardless of the source? Or if Sportsnet's broadcasters don't like this response, can they lump similar critiques in with, in with their too American missive? Or perhaps we shouldn't go there at all. Perhaps we should just learn not to begrudge athletes their responses, just as we should learn to respect the decisions of LaRue, Rossi, Sesselman, Owen Hargraves, Nevin Subotic, and Jonathan de Guzman. My God. God, Richard Farley is fucking awesome. Great stuff from Richard Farley. Come on the show whenever you want. Love you. Fantastic, fantastic work from Richard Farley. If you want to see some of his work, uh, we have all of that in the description below. Now, the 2015 World Cup takes place where? In Canada. That's right. Uh, hopefully there will not be more racial occurrences in the near future, though I foresee it being plenty, especially after LaRue put out a quick statement on Twitter. And after this all came to light from an American and Canadian and world perspective of what exactly is going on with the Sydney LaRue uh, feud between the Americans and the Canadians. Uh, what do you guys think? Leave a thought in the comments. I would love to hear from all of you on all of these subjects. Share with your friends. Give us a thumbs up. And most importantly, subscribe to TYT Sports.